Path tracing versus ray tracing. That's what we have. We have our two rendering systems that are available. We have path tracing, we have ray tracing. And very, very simply, if you take a look at uh, what each one of those does, for a simple ray tracing, it shoots out one ray from each pixel. But in a path trace, instead of sending out one ray, it sends out tens, hundreds, even thousands of ray for each pixel to be rendering. So path tracing is much more fine. You're going to get a much better rendering with uh, path tracing than you are with ray tracing. As far as time is concerned, path tracing will take a, take a little bit longer than ray tracing. Uh, but we're taking, you know, we're talking... It's going to take uh, five minutes for path tracing rather than four minutes for ray tracing. So not a not a huge deal. Also, ray tracing uses the CPU to calculate and path tracing uses the GPU. Now, if you don't have a GPU, that's OK. It's going to use the system to do that for you. So path tracing, and that's why we can get the times that we have for path tracing is uh, using the GPU. I have a very, very small GPU in my system right now. So that's good. That's uh, path tracing versus ray tracing. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.